Howdy, partners! Welcome back to the West of Lothen! Let's continue on our story with, with uh, Limp McCain here. Howdy, boss! Howdy, Shmee! Stuck again? Yep, got mo got one hell of a canyon across and no material for the bridge building. Any ideas? There's an old mine town somewhere up north called Breadwood. They opened a lumber camp after the mines dried up. If you can fix a deal with them for the lumber we need, I can handle the engineering side of things. Alright, where is it? It's me, mark the location of Breadwood Camp on your map. Breadwood, yeah, Breadwood Camp on your map. Of course, anything you find to build a bridge out of is fine by me, but it seems like the simplest option. I'll see what I can do. Alright, where's Breadwood? Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. How did I not accidentally stumble upon that place? Anywho. <laughs> Dr drunk horse walking. You know you know the town's gone to pot when the horse is drunk. Huh. Well... Read the list of Breadwood's problem. Missing mail, overdue book, stalled logging permit, soup storage shortage, skeletons everywhere, missing yeast, bank robbery, robbed bread bank. Last time a mayor gets lets this list get over three items, we chase him out of town with the breadstick nailed to the top of his head. Howdy, Mayor. I'm Limp McCain. I'm here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal with your, with you for the lumber. All right, I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment are you offering? Um, I sort of expected you would just bill us. You want um, you want that much lumber with no payment up front? Are you serious? I can probably offer you free train rides. I do enjoy I do enjoy a nice train ride, but the deal would be. A real problem. I've already got seven problems to worry about. Oh? Mary glances at the list of problems on the wall and paces nervously around nervously. Offer to help. Maybe I could help you sort out some of your problems. Oh, thank you. It's, I'd certainly welcome any assistance you can offer. Look at the problem board. Uh, let's check the missing mail. Our last batch of mail never got here. We don't know if something happened to the mailman or what. Go talk to Reginald in the bunkhouse. He used to be the mailman, so he can tell you where to start searching. Uh, bunkhouse. Hold on. Toilet! Howdy, are you Reginald? Who the fuck is up? I don't even know how to say that. Are you? Name's Limp McCain. The mayor got me investigating some missing mail. Said you'd give me a line on where to start looking. Oh yeah, all right. I gave up being the mailman a couple of years ago, but I doubt they changed the system much. All the mail heading here used to go through a way station just southwest of here. I'll mark it on your map. All right, let's go check her out. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Trespass. Stack of old newspapers. Letter to Roy Bean. Blank postcard. Article about how they had to change the name of Boot Hill Summary to reboot because of all the skeletons in there coming back to life. Stack of old newspapers. Somebody had removed all the funnies, so there's literally no reason to care about them. Yep. This cabinet is full of maps. You have no idea what any of them mean. Maybe you could ask about it. Oh, may at the post office in dirt water. Wait, what? Okay. Letter to Roy Bean. Let's do let's do that. And I actually have a couple of blank postcards I could send.
Found a letter addressed to you. A letter? Hand it over. Yeah, and toss the fireplace behind them. Thanks, anyway. Well, good luck. Alright, let's head to dirt water. Gotta talk to the postman. Actually, um, let me see what's... Uh, ah! Oh, hey, nice, nice to see you again. Hey, did your elves make the trip okay? Oh yeah, sure, no problem, like, uh, at all. I've been seeing them less and less since the move, though. So I've been making some boots myself, just to help them out. Ah, oh, that's real nice of you. What, uh, what can I get you? Oh, uh, what do you got? Boot polish. Tony's shiny boots. Tony shooting boots. Tiger stripe. Ooh, yeah, I'll get those. Hold on. Extra large boots. Oh yeah. More melee. That's the jail. Wanted to go to the post office. Yeah, I need the help tracking down some missing mail. How do you mean? A mail delivery went missing on the way to Breadwood, and I'm hunting in behalf of their mayor. The local mail station has a bunch of route maps, but I don't know which one I need. Huh, well, that information ain't exactly secret, but I ain't supposed to just give it out either. Delivery gone missing is bad news, though I suppose it's alright just once. Wait here a sec. Thanks. Okay, so he, each map has a code number on it, see, based on the region and direction of travel. She explained how it, to work out the code need to get. Okay, postal coach. I got a couple of postcards. Oh! Back from Rufus. Uh, I got a postcard. I got a postcard. Ah! Huh. Well, let's head back to the way station. So I can only send one postcard a day. And I got and I get something from Rufus. It's a package from your younger brother Rufus. He's weird, but he's a sweet kid at heart. Horrible leather work bench? Oh, I gotta set it up in my room. That will come in handy. Okay. Use the sheet sheet to find the route that leads to Breadwood. Follow the map. Chuck's house. Uh, something about this house makes you suspicious. You can't quite put your finger on it. The place looks perfectly normal after all, but you can't shake the feeling that something very wrong is going on here. Maybe you're just being paranoid. Look around. Knock on the door, voice calls. Come in, it's Owen. It's always open. Come on. Unmarked. There's no name on it or anything. The door creaks open. You step inside the house. The interior is an absolute nightmare. The walls are covered with rusty chains and hooks, as well as a variety of wicked looking knives and shears. A man of intermediate age and slightly hunched posture grins wildly as you enter. His eyes gleaming, he stands near a large puddle of blood on the floor. Um. Hello, my name is Chuck. Welcome to my little blood and breakfast. Your what? Blood and breakfast. Sorry, I have a lisp. A lisp? Yes, it makes a lud sound like lud. A bed and breakfast. I see. People also tell me I emphasize words oddly, but 
I don't get that at all. Uh huh. Chuck is staring at you. You notice that his left eye has a tendency to drift sideways as he stares and then resets when he blinks, which is not often enough. Talk to him. Uh, excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? Is that you're running a bed and breakfast here? Yes, that's what I slud. Yes. That's a weird list. Um, can I have a look? Has a mailman been here recently? Why, yes, my last guest was a mailman. Such a nice fellow. It's a shame he's no longer with us. I hope you just mean that he left. I think, I like to think he's always been here in spirit. Thanks. Large collection of steel chains and hooks, as well as knives, shears, and other blade implements. Everything is covered with rust or probably dried blood or probably both. Ask Chuck about him. Ah, you know it's my collection. Yeah, it's, uh, dramatic. It all belonged to my father, and his father before him, they were butchers. And you? <laughs> I do a little bit, but not professionally. I broke with my family tradition to run a little blood and breakfast. Gotcha. It's locked. But it is locked to keep you out or so or keep something in. Whoa! It's a <laughs> it's a plot co lock. Those things are unpickable. Yeah. I can't pick it because the block the plot demands it. Alright. Um could I have a look at your guest room? It's in the cellar, but I'm afraid it's unavailable at, at the moment. My last guest only just checked out. I still need to clean up the mess. Oh. Uh, what's on the menu? Homemade sausages and tomato soup. I also have a special tea that blend that's a real knockout. Uh, what kind of sausage? Long pork sausages. My grandfather's own recipe. Did you just say long pork? That's right. I make them longer than regular pork sausages. They're more filling that way. This is puzzling and uncomfortable for many different reasons. Uh, you, mentioned, you mentioned a special tea blend? Yes, a special herbal blend that puts my guests right to sleep. It's very effective. Huh. There's a mailman. Seriously, I can't do anything, can I? A lot of blood on the floor. Uh, I can't help but notice that you got a giant pool of blood on your floor. Blood? Oh, no, 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 no. I can see why you might think that, as this is certainly rud, rude like blood, but it's uh, tomato soup. Tomato soup? Yes, I spilled my lunch. Very clumsy of me. I was just getting started cleaning it up when you arrived. I see. Can I talk to you? Is there anything else you got? Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I left the kettle on. The water should be boiled by now. Would you care to for a cup of tea? No, thanks. I'm good. Chuck pours himself a cup of tea and sips it for a while, staring at you. After a bit, he stares a little drowsy. Oh my, I'm coming over all sleepy. Perhaps I should get my mood down for a few minutes. It's been a long day. Please excuse me. Sure. Into the room.
go through truck store and seem to make up may not be a good idea. There's a key at the top of the dresser though. Yoink! Yeah, I ain't that dumb. I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. Hmm. It looks nearly as horrific down here as you expected, unless you're particularly horrified by an unmade bed. Well, there's the mail. Anything else? <laughs> locks, how to pick them. There's quite a few good books in here, actually. Advanced scout punching and locks and how to pick them. What a haul. Blank postcard. Um, nope. Yeah, I... Lock picking expertise. You already learned it. Yeah, point. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll have to sell that. Cow punching. Brawny and never really vigilant. Uh, I guess I'll go with Ever Vigilant. That just means the last one I'm going to be able to get is Brawny. As you're climbing out of the cellar, a mailman approaches you. Oh, thank goodness you found my mail. This mailbag is yours? Yes, I've been stressed out lately, so I took a day off and rented a room here as a sort of mini vacation. Chuck's a great guy. A little weird, I guess, but real personable. And his cooking <laughs> is great. The tomato soup and the great big sausages, his tea did wonders for my insomnia, too. It did seem pretty effective. Anyway, I forgot my mailbag, and I wasn't sure where I left it, so I've been retracing my step for ages. Thanks for finding it. Sure. No problem. Here you go. The mailman walks away with a bag of shoulder, whistling a cheerful tune. Well, that's sort of that, I guess. Um. Okay. <laughs> All right then, uh, back to Breadwood. Uh, I get. Uh, no, let's, what other problems are there? Overdue book. Okay. Um, I guess before I continue on to the, to the other problem, hmm, should I make all the problems? I'll do all the problems in one video. I was gonna do like each problem in a separate video, but I might as well do it all in one. I get, I'll do it. He said, "Am I missing mail?" Yep, missing mail man too. He's on his way to deliver it. Excellent. I hope there's a new issue of Mayor's Monthly. Okay. Uh, da, 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 overdue book. Our library books only got our library only has four books, so it's serious business when someone doesn't return one. Our records say it was loaned out to a lady named Alexandria. It was a couple of mayors ago, so I don't know. I don't know her, but we've got an address. Okay, I'll go ask. Thankfully, I've already been to that ranch a bunch of times. So let's just head back to the ranch. See if we can't find that book. Nothing here. <laughs> Managed to find part of the overdue book from the Breadwood Library. Ah, oh, that was fat. That was easy. Better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> Found it. Uh, were you able to find that missing library book? Uh, half a bit. Well, that's a real bagel biter. Oh well, everyone mostly skipped the words and just looked at the pictures anyways. And mostly just bottom half of the pictures, so that's alright. Eh, at least the captions are still there, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. Logging permit. We're running out of trees around here and need to expand our operation a bit. Problem is, we need, we need a logging permit from the next town and the whole place up and died before the paperwork was settled. The town died? Uh, okay, I'll check it out, I guess. Oh, boy. Knock, knock. Hello, Mr. McCain. How can I be of service? 
Uh, geez, finally, I'm here on behalf of the mayor of Redwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in this area. I see. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I just need to review the logging records to make sure there's no disqualifying incidents. Go to the Department of Records. It's two doors down. Tell them I need Redwood file, Redwood file pertaining to logging. Is something wrong? Not yet. I'm just stealing myself for anticipation. Anticip anticipation. God, I cannot talk. Department of Records, how can I help you, Mr. McCain? Uh, I'm supposed to pick up a file on the town of Breadwood. One moment, please. Breadwood. Applewood, Antiwood, Badwood. Do you mean Bagelwood? No, bread. it's Breadwood. Must be a suburb. Beaverwood, Bestwood, Bitterwood, Bloodwood. Ah, here we are, Breadwood. Which section did you need? Uh, logging records. Huh, that section has been downgraded from disuse. You'll need to pick it up from the adjacent... From the uh, Department of Records next door. Naturally. Bring it back here when you got it, and I'll put it in the official interdepartment document transfer folder for you. Is that really necessary? Absolutely! You can't transfer documents between departments without an interdepartment document transfer folder. It's unthinkable! Fine, fine. Knock, knock. Mr. McCain, was it? What can I do for you? The Department of Records sent me over to pick up a file. Great, which file? Logging reports for the town of Breadwood. One, all right, one second. Ah, here we are. Um, but what's wrong? Well, these pages are all loose. I can't give them to you like this. What if they blow away? I'm just taking them next door. They're giving me a document folder. It'll be fine. No, no, what if there's a freak gust of wind and you'll soon at as soon as you leave here, it would be chaos! Uh, what do you propose? Well, fortunately, I happen to be the one person in town officially authorized to use a stapler. So you'll staple them together for me? I'd be glad to, but... But I don't have a stapler. Of course you don't. Don't worry, all you have to do is go to the Department of Requisitions next door and request one. So I can bring you a stapler and, and you'll give me the file. Yep. Fine. Knock knock. Hello, something I can get you, Mr. McCain? I need a, I need to requisition a stapler. All right, first we'll need to fill out a requisition form. I figured. Last name McCain. First name Limp. Middle name Sneaky. All right, let me check your visitor identification. Limp Sneaky McCain. Get the checks out. Cake or pie? Excuse me? Your dessert preference. Cake or pie? Uh, cake. Ugh. Well, despite that, everything seems to be in order. I'll get you the. I'll get this filed. Here's your stapler. Great, thanks. Knock, knock. Mr. McCain, was it? What can I do for you? Okay, I got you a stapler. Great! Ah, there's nothing better than that new stapler smell. Can I have the logging reports now? You bet! Ka-chunk! There you go, freshly stapled and wind resistant. Sorry for that long pause, I had to shut my door. Thanks! Knock knock, Department of Records, how can I help you, Mr. McCain? Okay, I'm back with those papers. Alright, let me just put these in an official interdepartment document transfer folder for you. There you go! Great, thank you! Knock knock. Hello, Mr. McCain. How can I be of service? Okay, I got the file for you. The breadwood logging records. Fine, let's have a look. Uh oh, for the love of... What's wrong? That idiot stapled the pages together right in the middle. This is why we took this damn stapler away in the first place. The file is unreadable. You're gonna have to take it back and tell him to unstaple it. Knock 
Knock, knock. Mr. McCain, what is it I can do for you? Administration wants you to unstaple these papers. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm only authorized for stapling, not unstapling. Try the next door at the Department of Records. I think they have an unstapler there. Knock, knock. Department of Records, how can I help you, Mr. McCain? I need you... you <coughs> sorry. I need some papers unstapled. Okay, I'm fully authorized. I'm a fully authorized unstapler, so that's no problem. Hmm, spoke too soon, did you? Well, it's just I don't see the stapler remover anywhere. Oh, that's right, the Department of Libations borrowed it. To open beer bottles. Well, howdy, what can I do you for, Mr. McCain? Do you have the Department of Records staple stapler remover? Sure do. That thing pops off the top of beer bottles like you wouldn't believe. So long as it removes staples, I'll be happy. I imagine it does, but I'm afraid I'm not authorized for unstapling. You'll have to take it back over to the records. Here you go. Department of Records, how can I help you, Mr. McCain? Here's your stapler remover back. Great, let me just have a look at those papers for you. Tiss, tiss. Uh, Jason Records uh, up to his old tricks again, I see. These don't even need to be stapled. That's what the interdepartment inter document transfer folder is for. Alright, there you go. Thanks. Hello, Mr. McCain. How can I be of service? Alright, I'm back with an unstapled breadwood logging file. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, I can't see any problems with this. I'm frankly amazed. Let's get started on the paperwork for the logging per permits. I am no longer amazed. Last name, McCain. First name, Limp. Middle name, Sneaky. Let me check your visitor identification. Limp Sneaky McCain. Okay, that's fine. I just need to stamp this here. And sign here. Now, you sign here, and also here, and initial here, and here, and sign here. Good, now just take this back to the mayor of Breadwood and have him sign the lines and initial over here. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to do that. Ugh. Back to Breadwood. Excuse me, Mayor, I have some papers you need to sign for the logging permit. Alright. Oh, ghost paper. That's... This is stuff is uh, weird. Yeah. I think I need a ghost pen pencil for this. Here, you can borrow mine. Sign down here and initial over here. After some fumbling with the ghost pencil, the Mayor eventually managed to sign the and initial the form. Alright, Mayor, I'll be back as soon with... I'll be back soon with the permit. God willing. Good luck. Back to Ghostwood. <sighs> Hello, Mr. McCain. How can I be of service? Okay, I got the mayor's signature for the logging permit. Great. Just sign the last line at the bottom where it says receipt. Is something wrong? You covered your face with your hands. I loan my pencil to the mayor. Oh, dear. Excuse me while I go kill everything. Excuse me, Mayor? Yes? You still have my ghost pencil. I need that. Oh, terribly sorry. I think it's haunting my beard. Ah! There you go. Thank you. This game's fantastic. Okay, I've got the Mayor's signature on the logging permit for Great, just sign the bottom. 
All right, that's everything taken care of. Breadwood's logging permit is hereby approved. Finally, wonderful. Processing will take about 48 hours. What? Well, everything has to be filed and the actual permit has to be printed and so on. You can pick it up in two days. I literally actually have to go sleep for two days. And then they'll have the permit. I need a drink immediately. No problem, beer or whiskey? Whiskey. Good choice, one's problem though, and that is, I'm out of whiskey requisitions for mine going to the administration picking up one for me. Alright, fine. <sighs> I need the whiskey re requisition form. I need whiskey requisition form for the bar down the street. Bar? Oh, you mean the, de the Department of Libations? Sure, I can give you your a whiskey requisition form. Great. Is what I'd like to say, but I'm out of form transfer envelopes. What? Can't transfer a form to make a different to a different department without a form transfer envelope to make sure it doesn't get tampered with during transport. You must be joking. No, sir. This is serious business. I tell you what, though, they should have some spare transfer envelopes in the Department of Re Requisitions next door. Fine. I need a transfer. I need a form transfer envelope. All right, which color? Color? Naturally, different colors for different purposes. Tan is for regular interdepartment transfer. Blue is for extra municipal transfer. Red is for emergencies, and green is for bribe. Tan. Mm, sorry, looks like we're out of those. Blue. Tech. I'm technically extra municipal since I'm just a visitor, so give me a blue one. That refers to the form's final destinations. Where will you be taking it? Department of Libations. Nope, sorry sir, interminable. I can give you a blue one. Can't give you a blue one. Red? The more I have to deal with this bureaucracy, the more of an emergency it becomes. Give me a red one. Sounds reasonable to me. Here you go. Thanks. <sighs> I'm back with the whiskey requisition form. Here's a transfer envelope. Oh, wait. Nope. Wrong one. Oh, a red one. You must really need that drink. Here you go. One whiskey requisition form. Thanks. Here's the whiskey requisition form. Ooh, red envelope. You must be real thirsty. Okay, let me get it filled out. Last name. Kane. First name. Limp. Middle name. Sneaky. Let me check your visitor ID. Limp Sneaky McCain. Yep. That all looks good. Can I get a whiskey now? Sorry, a fresh out of whiskey. I hereby bow, vow to destroy this place. I will rut, I will res the buildings and salt the earth. Now, now, don't get bent out of shape. If you go tell the Department of Requisition, they'll set, they'll set us up with fresh cates. Ugh, fine. The bar, I mean, Department of Libation is out of whiskey. Uh, thanks for letting me know. We'll get a case sent over. I don't have to fill in anything else. Nope. That's all handled on delivery. Great. In two days. Hey, don't look at me like that way. There's a lot of processing and forms for booze del delivery. I'm, I'm just gonna go sleep for two days. If anybody doesn't mind. So, that way the requisition forms can just be done. One. Two. Back to Ghostwood. Metals. Nine Moxie, all right. First, let me check on that whiskey. Okay. You know, 
what? Never mind. Is the breadwood logging permit ready? Let me look. Ah, yes, here it is, and there you go. I don't have to sign anything to collect it? Nope. Are you sure? No, s no sir. That's it. Holy crap! She <laughs> managed to get the logging permit yet? Yes, finally. Well, that's definitely going to improve the situation around here. Thank you. I hope to never see another form again. Uh, soup shortage. We keep a municipal soup kitchen open to help those who are down in their luck, which is pretty much everyone around here, but we've run out of soup and need some fresh. Get some more from soup stock load. I'll give you a stack of bread bowls to carry the soup in. Okay, off I go. <laughs> Ugh. Dad. Throw it away. And I go. It's a good thing I've already been in here before. There we go. Back to Breadwood. Got him right here. You're a real lifesaver. I was about I was about ready to gnaw my own beard. That'd been a shame. Alright, uh, skeleton raid was next. There's a military cemetery not far from here, and I figured something must have happened to the caretaker because military skeletons keep wandering out this way and causing a ruckus. Alright, I'll check it out. I don't know, I've already been to the military cemetery. Let's see what's going on. Uh, you poke around, the caretaker appears to have been skirking his duties for quite a while, judging by the dust. Looks like the mayor was right about him wandering off. I guess you're gonna have to fetch him to get back his job. What the heck? Okay. Uh, look at the tools. Since you already have a shovel, you leave it alone. Look under the chair. Let's go by his desk. Old newspapers. Check out the flyer. There's nothing else interesting. I'm on the flyers. Just that. Just that notice about the military. Me Finding him is the surest way to uh, clean up the boneyard. I gotta go all the way to the Fort Memorial. Oh, brother. Fight. <laughs> yeah, cool down, hothead. Red hot pistol. Let me check out that pistol. Plus four speed. 15 to 17. Moxie. I'll try the red hot. Um, actually, I want to keep. I actually want to keep my moxie up until I actually use my XP to raise it. Be the cemetery character? Nope. That's Jeff. Said something about having a day job. It hasn't been. It hasn't been that day for like two weeks though. Take your leave, I've already done all the stuff here. Hey, Jeff. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Yeah, that's me. Did one of the other guys tell you? I try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you work in a graveyard. I'm actually here to tell you to get back to work because skeletons are wandering out of the place and causing trouble for your neighbors. Aw, oh, nuts. Alright, well, look. I'm on a real winning streak here. I'll go back once it's over, okay? Looks like I broke your winning streak. Yeah, dang it, I guess. You did. GG. Hey guys, I gotta go back to work. I'll catch you next week. Guess I didn't have to intimidate him. Back to Redwood. Did 
Did you sort out the cemetery problem? Yep, caretaker's back on duty. Uh, okay, offer with any problems. Stolen yeast. We take our yeast supply very seriously here in Breadwood. I wonder why. That dang yeasty gang made off with a whole lot. A couple of fellas said they saw them loitering around the old brewery, so that's probably where they made their hideout. We need that yeast back. Alright, I'll go investigate. Where is it? Old Schmaltz Brewery. Brewery. Excuse me. Um. What? It says beer hose. You're not really sure what's the purpose of my turn. Fellas, too scared to talk to you. Grab the hat. Yeast covered hat. Physicality. Well, looks like I got here a monster to fight. Some kind of crazy yeast monster has apparently broken loose from the vats and eaten some of the bandits. I guess they brewed up something they couldn't put down. They could barley control it. You're here to hop to it if you want to prevail here. How much health it's got? Yep. The remains of the horrible yeast beast. I guess you could take someone back to the mare and still be good, right? Half a ton of yeast. This whole yeast thief biz doesn't seem to have gone very well for you guys. Yeah, no, I... Jeez, uh, are you a bounty hunter? Relax, the mayor just wants the, his yeast back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. Whew, okay, well, the yeast is in that revolting pile. So what happened here? Well, we got bored of bread, as all, and I know a bit about brewing, and then we figured we came back with a couple of kegs. No one would mind so much if we stole the yeast. No offense, but it seems you aren't much of a brewer. Hey! Well, ideally, you wouldn't end up with a ravenous yeast monster. That was my... Okay, well, I guess it was my fault. But I was uh, under... But I understand what happened. These vats are old, and we didn't clean them properly first because we were in a hurry. I think there are some frogs living in one of them. And you figured you could use the extra hops. <laughs> well, if... Well... You sure got to figure it out. You can set up shop in dirt water. Oh? Yeah, it's turning into quite the little metropolis. I'd love to have a place of my own. I'll go check it out. Take your leave. Back to Breadwood. Any luck recovering our yeast from the bandits? Yep. Well done. Happy to help. Uh, for the help, the missing bread. The Baker boys cleaned out our bank right out, and there ain't, and that's not a bit fabulous if you ask me. Fortunately, they haven't been too secretive about their location of their hideout. You, can you get our bread back? I mean, this place is called Breadwood, and we have to have some bread. Where is it? Baker Boys had out. These teenagers seem desperate and are trying to drown their sorrows in big mugs of water. Maybe they misunderstood the idiom. Hey, you boys wouldn't know about some bread that went missing, would you? Ah, oh, nuts. I told you we were going to get in trouble, trouble, Billy. Shut up, Jerry. Why? Way to blab everything, dude. Calm down, you two. The mayor just wants his bread back. Hand it over, and the trouble you're in will be minimal. It ain't that simple, mister. We sold that bread for meat to start up this bakery. Why? Because we wanted to make some. We wanted to make something out of our lives. Everyone in Breadwood is just are, is just bums. Plus, like everyone needs bread, right? So we figured we'd make it big. Okay. Well, no problem. We'll take the mayor. We take the mayor as bread you've made and call it even. <laughs> yeah, no problem, except for the fact that we don't know a dang thing about making bread. Turns out all we ended up with is weird lumps. Ah, uh, that ain't true, Billy. The last loaf we tried was almost right. 
Yeah, sure, it was nearly edible, but we're practically out of ingredients. Well, maybe I can help. I know a place where you can get more grain. They have so much there, they'll never notice if you boys take some on the quiet. Hey, that sounds like a real deal. We could even... We wouldn't even need much. Just enough to figure out the recipe and start making enough meat to buy our own. Okay, I'll draw you a map. Big boys sneak out to Kellogg Ranch to filch a few bags of grain. After a couple tries, the boys hit a decent bread recipe and bake enough to cover the whole... Cover what they stole from the mayor. All's well that ends well. Alright, I think that's, that's the last one. Thank goodness for that, another missed payday would have caused a riot for sure. Now, uh, for the lumber? Uh, alright, well, you've helped me out quite a bit, so I reckon I can set you up with what you need for that bridge. Thanks! Mayor looks pretty relaxed now that the camp has only one problem. Leave him to his... What's the problem? Oh... Drinking. Buttery biscuit. Well, well, looks like some poor summer biscuit wandered into town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, geez, rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cussing here in Breadwood. Uh, sure, fine, but cake sucker? We also like our bread and bread related products. Uh, so I've noticed. Yeah, I don't think so. This guy is grimly washing dishes. He notices you looking waves your way at your way. <laughs> Just two friends reminiscing about good times and occasionally showing one another their guns in a non-threatening way. Spittoon! This is Spittoon. And an unusually full one, probably best to leave it alone. Take a closer look! <sighs> look, this isn't Mom and Pop's Family Fun Time Saloon. This is a bar. This is a dive bar in a dive town. The people who drink here are mainly drifters and desperados. Don't go splashing around in the literal scum of the scum of the earth. I'm gonna. Seriously, don't. This is wrong and disgusting. It is a vile behavior. I'll have my face right up to this thing. What's it look like? I... No, I'm telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to skip lunch today because I couldn't stop thinking about you and these foul spittoons. I've got my hand right in here, splashing around. La 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 la, I'm not listening. You find nothing. You're the worst person in the world. Ha! Found something, all right. Like a necro... Skin disorder, I bet. Actually, a pair of boots. So there, Mr. Delicate Stomach. Boots, great. Boots full of bandit spit. I hope they have to invent a whole new kind of trench foot just for you. I hope they name it after you. You got the spit soaked boots. You're just jealous of my sweet new boots. <laughs> uh, didn't want to check the map. Want to check the boots. Three maximum AP. I'm gonna keep, uh, melee damage. <laughs> what are these guys up to? Uh, what you playing? Pharaoh. But I wouldn't say we're playing. I'd say we did play till the cowboy ran out of money. Uh, okay, so it's a gambling game. Trading post. Length of rope. Advanced cow punching. Oh, uh, forging. There we go. Wet boots. Heat resistance. Dang it. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to go there. My bad. I wasn't done looking around der uh, Breadwood. I accidentally clicked it. Well, at least I got a fight. Hmm. What am 
am I? Oh, I'm using my, I'm using my chemical bullets. I was like, why isn't my turn ending? I just noticed I'm using uh, some item. That probably would have been useful. Bullets. Um, get forging. Advanced cow punching. The last skill, Ronnie. I have every single skill. Bunk Let's check out the bunkhouse. Howdy, stranger. My name's Hobart Burped. Your what? Oh, I mean, hi, Hobart. My name's Limp McCain. You seem to like trap, like the traveling sort. Mind doing a fellow a favor? What favor? This th thing is, my only dream is to see an owl skeleton. That's quite a dream. I heard they got one at the pet center, but I ain't got meat to. You want a loan? Nah, I got no. Pro I got no prospects of paying it back, but I got a camera, and I figured if I you went to the cemetery and took a picture of it. Okay. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I will be back. I'll okay, I will be back. I, I will. I'm definitely gonna go for that third one. Uh, pick the lock. Huh. Holloway pen. Holloway's pen. Ah, more AP. HP. More health. Alright, pet cemetery. Here we come. Petting cemetery. Didn't run into anything. Quick trip. Here it is. Take a picture. Back to Breadwood. Yeah. All right, got your picture. Howdy, Hobart. Howdy, Limp. You managed to take that picture? Sure did. Oh, thanks. Great. Well, thank you, Limp. I ain't got anything for a reward, so I might. It's so you get some experience points out of it. Is there anything else in this town? Um, wait. Probably should. Uh, da -da -da -da. Wow, I got a lot of XP. Mm. My intimidation up to the last one. I think I'll save the rest for a little bit later. Tombstone Pizza. I take it those are the mares. Is there anything else in here? Nope. I guess we go back to the railroad company. The railroad camp. Get that bridge made. Gravedigger's flask. Yo, Shmee! I got, uh, I got what you need, brother. Okay. Hey, boss, good news. We got the lumber shipment from Breadwood. We're ready to go. You got the bridge bill already? Yep, most of the passengers were bored, so they chipped in to help. Oh, wow, that's nice. Now we just got, now we just have to lay tracks the rest of the way into Frisco, and our work is done, both mine and yours. See you there, boss. See ya. Cool. So I can just head straight to Frisco. But there's... I know there's a bunch of places that has got to be in here. But I'm going to head back to Dirtwater, actually. Because I think this would be a good... I'm going to... I'm going to figure out how to put... Uh, my, e my EXP into some things. And then I'm going to go do the Reckoning at Gun Manor DLC be done there. Actually, while I'm here... Nope. 
Where was that portable leather workbench install? Yes. And I'm going to put the pistol, red hat pistol on. And the. I'm going to up my. Mm, Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna up my moxie because that's for shooting, right? Yep. How much damage you deal from shoot from shooting? There. I want it at least at even to twenty with like what I got equipped. Then what was it that gave me more health? Okay. Yep. Grit. Consumption speed. Maximum HP. Gain. Okay, grit. Put the rest in the grit. Put some in the gumption. One in the muscle. There we go. Come back next time as we go see uh, the Reckoning and Gun Manor. See you then, folks.